So today our county is joining a worldwide movement, if you will, to increase awareness about multiple sclerosis. My colleagues get to hear this every year as to why I do this. I do this because I had my own brush with MS in my 40s. I was walking along and my family turned to me and they said, Roger, why is your left leg dragging? Not a good thing. You go to the doctor and they say, probable MS. You go to Hopkins, you go to UCLA, you go everywhere because this is not the news you want to hear. And I am one of the blessed ones because mine was a brush with MS. After 12 years, I was fortunate to receive a diagnosis that said, no, that really wasn't true for you because if it had been true for you, this would have progressed, this would have gotten worse. And instead, I have gotten better, and I am as good as I can be, which often is not enough, but it's as, as good as I can be. But for so many, that is not the story for them. When I was diagnosed, the drugs that were available for MS were not what they are today. And today, we have a greater chance for those who have afflicted to have a recovery. And that is what we all hope for. We now have in our country today a moonshot to cure cancer. And that is so very appropriate. And it's actually being led by a Montgomery County resident. But there is hardly a disease that people face that we don't hope for a cure for. We hope for a cure for MS. We hope for an understanding of people that have MS as how they can live independent lives and support them in their independent lives because that's what all of us want, to be independent and not to be characterized by a disease. We seek to overcome these diseases and live full, wonderful lives. This gentleman here, for example, is, exemplifies precisely that. So, it is my honor to read this proclamation on behalf of my colleagues. Whereas multiple sclerosis is a neurological disease of the central nervous system affecting 2.3 million people worldwide, and each hour someone new is diagnosed. And whereas the, multiple, the National Multiple Sclerosis Society, National Capital Chapter, reports that in our state more than 10,000 people are diagnosed with MS and that the disease generally strikes people in the prime of life between ages 20 and 50 and causes unpredictable effects in which the progression, severity, and specific symptoms cannot be foreseen and the cause and cure for this often debilitating disease remain unknown. And whereas the National Multiple Sclerosis Society, National Capt Capital Chapter, has been committed for more than 60 years to a world free of MS, heightening public knowledge and about insight into the disease and whereas since 1946, the National Multiple Sclerosis Society has been a driving force of MS research, relentlessly pursuing prevention, treatment, and a cure, and has invested more than $868 million in groundbreaking research, and whereas Montgomery County, Maryland recognizes the importance of finding the cause and cure of MS and expresses its appreciation and admiration for the dedication that the National Multiple Sclerosis Society National Capital Chapter has shown toward a future free of MS. And now, therefore, do we, Isaiah Leggett as County Executive and Nancy Florine as County Council President, hereby proclaim March 2016 as MS Awareness Month. We encourage all residents to learn more about multiple sclerosis and what they can do to support individuals with MS and their families. Signed this day, Isaiah Leggett, Nancy Florine. Thank you very much. Um, on behalf of the uh, National MS Society uh, and the Commission on People with Disabilities, I want to thank uh, the County Council uh, and the County Executive for this proclamation. Um, in my previous life, I was a, a physician who specialized in neurologic diseases. I was the MS doctor before I had MS. Um, and when I first started practicing back in the 80s, uh, there was no treatment available, as Roger was saying. There was really nothing you could do. Um, 
So the, the impetus to diagnose early was not there. It didn't matter. Now it does matter. Now we have 13 different agents that can impact on the disease, um, the most common form of the disease, which is the relapsing remitting form. And we are actually developing, um, when I say the, we, the MS Society is greatly involved in financing this as well as the NIH. Uh, we are uh, developing uh, a cure for uh, progressive uh, MS, which has been uh, one of the big problems that we've had, uh, lack of treatment for that. Um, the important item here, the, the awareness is, is extremely important because now that we have medications, the medications may forestall the worsening. In other words, they may, it may not progress as quickly. You may be able to stay active and, and in, your, in society and a member uh, working as you normally would with these medications. It's critical to start early. And unfortunately, because of the variable uh, uh, symptoms that occur, uh, people average uh, two years from first onset of, of the disease uh, to the diagnosis. And those are two years where you wouldn't necessarily have to have worsening of the disease if you could possibly forestall the worsening. Uh, we're still working to find a cure. We don't have that. But it's critical to raise awareness. If anything unusual happens in any uh, neurologic realm, pain, numbness, weakness, double vision, loss of vision, uh, bladder, bowel control problems. If it's an enigma, think MS. And if you think MS, you might get a diagnosis earlier. Uh, ask your doctor if you, if you might have MS. And if you get a diagnosis earlier, you have a chance of uh, having a better outcome. Thank you very much.